Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. So Quarkus 1.11, we just released, uh, which now ships the new experimental uh, dev console uh, that is available in when you run the Quarkus application as demo. So when you start the Quarkus application with the Maven plugin, Quarkus colon dev, and you can actually access the dev console I uh, will show you something like uh, the de development environment based on GUI. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, Quarkus tool for VS Code to create a new Quarkus application project. So I'm going to pick it up, uh, Maven uh, project, and then I'm going to set it my project ID and artifact ID, like Quarkus dash dev UI. And then the project version just 1.0, and you can actually print any version name. And the, here is the default the resource uh, Java classes, which will export the RESTful API. Uh, for example, hello world. And I'm not going to add any extension, just default extension will be downloaded automatically. Okay, so project is just generated. And then go to Java classes here. You know, Endpoint like a path, like a, let's change that like a simply just hello. And the return output hello rest easy is a pretty simple application to export the RESTful API. And then I'm gonna need to run uh, this application as a dev mode using Maven plugin. Uh, Quarkus dev mode uh, uh, allows developer to load this application and live query and activity profile dev. As you can see, this is the race version focus on that level final. And then the install feature, like the dependencies, so CDI, REST, EG, that is the default capability of the purpose application. When you go to uh, the landing page, as you can see, the welcome page, and you go to dash Q, uh, slash Q, slash dev, uh, which allows you to go to dev console. Pretty simple. It shows uh, already installed uh, extension, for example, configuration and art uh, to build CDI bin. When you click on uh, the documentation icon, uh, you will see uh, how to use that extension. And on configuration extension, you can actually change your key and uh, values uh, for each key properties. So for example, you can change the application name. Also, you can change the lot of configuration dynamically on your dev console, which means you don't need to use, uh, change that feature on your source core or the XML, etc. So you could still change or modify the configuration on your source core or your project directory, but dev console uh, gives some more opportunity to change that more properly way. So let's try to add a new up, uh, extension, for example, like OpenShift extension. Uh, to deploy this application to open container platform. Once you add a new extension using Quarkus tool or Maven plugin, uh, uh, it automatically will run your Maven command plugin, uh, plugin on your terminal window. And then uh, go back to our dev console and refresh the web browser. And then you can find the new extension is just edited, like an open shift extension and container image and a Kubernetes, Kubernetes client. This is all extensions are relevant to OpenShift extensions. So for example, when you click on Kubernetes client extension uh, on the dev UI, you can uh, go to the documentation, how to use it, how to work, how, how it works it, something like that. Okay, so there are a few more features on the dev console. Uh, for example, container image, you can uh, trigger the build and the deploy, etc. So in order to build, uh, and deploy this application on that console, we need to add some specific uh, application properties. For example, container build and a trust certification and the deployment target, of course, of the shift and expose URL, something like that. And click on the deploy button and you can actually choose the build time and expose. So build time, there are some mutable jar, uh, you can run the application on the, push the container environment with the live coding features and the fast start, which allows you uh, running your application a little bit faster than in the normal jar and the name comparison. You can also uh, select uh, expose or yes or no uh, using loud and okay, we're gonna choose the fast start 
as a build time and export it yes which means your application will be deployed upon shift and then export automatically uh, and client to extract your part using cloud url okay so behind the scenes uh, you can uh, monitor uh, what is happening on your Quarker side and then there are things that are just uh, packaging and building and the open shift processor uh, get started to performing uh, binary build based on the your thin jar and create the build config and the image stream and then packaging your application as a container image based on your job file and then push it at app uh, container image inside of the container platform and then uh, your purpose uh, application deploy is done okay go back to open the container platform this is the dev console and open the container platform and you click on the logs uh, of, of this part and you can find the application is running and with the profile production activated not that far that activated rather than lack of your local environment and let's try to go to endpoint uh, with the hello and then you can find the hello rest eg uh, just like uh, the output when you saw in the application code. Try to add one more of the uh, extensions such as the flyway uh, allows you to migrate data schema from uh, RDBMS and the other uh, corpus, uh, estate, corpus functionality like JPA, Hibernate, Panache, etc. When you add a new extension, you can find more uh, dev UI and features with that extension like uh, uh, flyway and then when you click on data sources but there's no data source at this moment because I didn't, I didn't edit any data source on your application code project level and then you can find the more uh, uh, some tool like a, uh, like a data connection pool setting and a JTA transition manager and also a small re, uh, context propagation between managed thread in the reactive application so so this is a, a very beginning feature of the developer console on Quarkus 1.11. Here's a more 10 extension to support a dev console. If you're more interested about the dev console capability, please make sure and add uh, this extension on your Quarkus application. Thank you for watching.